Hello, this is part three of machine accessories. Now, on, I hope some of you have enjoyed part one and two. I have made all the accessories Now I finished part 2 with an angle plate and here is another angle plate I made out of the same length of angle iron that I got. I got this given to me. It was off a machine that come from America years ago and this was on it. Now make sure if you're doing that you face both sides, keep them through I put these three in it or I can a series of holes I can bolt stuff to and bolt this down which makes it a useful tool. Now here is another tool. I made this on my homemade 5 inch turntable. Which has come in handy from time to time. Holding stuff down. Now here is something you never seem to have enough of. V-blocks. I made this for a Pacific job. Now here is two more V-blocks that I made. Now I made this all one piece. And then cut it, which meant it was always, they were always dead true and parallel with each other for setting work on, doing work. You can be sure they were always level. Which was a very good little job. Now here is something that I made. Wind it. Now another movement and that this one is stable. I seen this one time and I I didn't take the measurements of it, I took a note, this is the, all the steel I could get at the time for making it this size. There's a wee bit has fell in there. Very nice tool to use. Very nice to make. I 
I put my son's initials on it. Very nice tool. Nice little pair of V-blocks. They were cut out of the one. I made this in one piece before I cut them. Which means all work done on them can be true. As I said, I have tips on my website making most of these machine accessories. Now here is a Another tool I put together. I bought this bit as a casting. I made the parts for it. I have these for going into my milling machine. Four inch opening, not a movement. The these are spares I made for it. That's a spare handle. Jaws. And these go in here to keep the handle keep the handle right I have done a lot and I mean a lot of work with this little vice A very useful little vice. Again, homemade. This is for bolting it down to the milling table. Very useful tool. And the accessory for it. Spurs. Now here is 
another tool and I, I didn't make this one. I bought it in a bad state. I done a lot of repairs to it and We're trying up shafts. A weak clock goes on here. I have the clock for it. There's no problem throwing shafts up to a meter. Three foot shaft, no problem. Handy tool. Here is the clock for it. A nice tool to use. Now, all the tools I have shown in these three parts have been all homemade. All of them but one have been made in this workshop. The one truing up the shafts, uh, I bought it but I had to do a lot of repair work to it. But a lot of the tools don't look, well, not even presentable, but they do the job. I, I hope some of you found some of them of interest. And if you're interested in making some of them, go to my website. I have tips on making most of them showing work I've done on them. The name is Benny Marner. Thank you for watching.